Hello Space Cats, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. This week, Friday the 21st of June 2019, is a very special occasion for X-ray astronomers because it marks the beginning of the Russian-German Spectrum Röntgen Gamma mission, or SRG. In this week's video, I'm going to tell you what it is about and what it has to do with tearing the skies apart. SRG is an X-ray all-sky survey. This means that it's designed to look for X-ray emission, just like you have at the doctors or the dentist, but over the entire sky. To do this, it has two instruments on board. The first is Iridita, which was designed by the Germans to look for soft X-ray emission. So these are X-ray light with energies less than 10 kilo electron volts and are emitted by things like galaxy clusters. And then the second instrument is called Art XC, and this was designed by the Russians to look for hard X-rays. So these are X-rays with over 10 kilo electron volts of energy, and they're most sensitive to black holes. When you're looking at the world through X-ray emission, what you're really looking at is the high energy universe. So this mission is going to observe 100,000 galaxy clusters, 700,000 stars, 3 million black holes, and a whole load of supernova explosions and neutron stars. Its primary science goal, however, is to measure dark energy. And it will do this by looking at the structure and the history traced by galaxy clusters. Because the more dark energy there is in the universe, the, the less structure will be clustered in the universe and the less densely distributed it will be. X-ray telescopes are not conventional telescopes. And this is because X-ray emission hitting a mirror perpendicularly on a normal telescope will be completely absorbed. Instead, X-ray telescopes are designed to have X-rays hit on very small grazing instance angles. And this ensures that they're reflected. And for this reason, X-ray telescope mirrors are typically arranged in ring-like structures. On eRosita, there are seven CCD cameras and they're all made of gold. And these correspond to seven gold-coated mirrors. These are all cooled down to minus 90 degrees Celsius. They're gold-coated because this allows X-rays to maximize the angle that they're hitting the mirrors while still being reflected. The CCD cameras allow us to track the time of arrival of X-ray photons, their energies, and where they're coming from on the sky. The Erosita All-Sky Survey, aka ERAS, is the successor of the ROSAT All-Sky Survey, RAS, which was a mission between 1990 and 1998, built by the British and the Germans. ROSAT was able to measure the emission of 150,000 X-ray objects. It was able to detailly get the shapes of supernova remnants and galaxy clusters, and it also discovered the X-ray emission of comets. Erosita is going to be 25 times more sensitive, and it's probably going to see every single galaxy cluster that exists in our universe. The mission is launching this Friday, the 21st of June, 2019. It's going on the heavy launch vehicle Proton-M rocket from Russia's spaceport Baikonur Cosmodrome in the south of Kazakhstan. Its destination is the second Lagrange point, L2, as this is one of the most gravitationally stable positions in our solar system. It's 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth, and it will take the spacecraft approximately 30 days to reach it. But once it's there, it will operate for at least four years, scanning the entire sky every six months. That means that Erosita will see the entire sky at least eight times, whereas ROSAT only saw it once. So the question you've all been waiting for, what has this got to do with tearing our skies apart? 
Well, in order to share the data equally between the Russians and the Germans, the scientists decided that the best way to do this was to split the sky equally in half. That's right, cut through the galactic plane and the galactic center. Fortunately for the Russians though, the German side of the data becomes publicly available after about two years. And that means eventually the Russians will have all of that beautiful X-ray data. I have both of my fingers and toes crossed that this launch will be a success especially after the failure of the Japanese X-ray mission Hitomi three years ago. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the SRG mission. And as always, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you like, share and subscribe.